Subsonic 1050 with another lock picking video in my short series on what kind of ex uh, security you can expect from the highest security lock that's available at your local hardware store. I have previously posted some videos of a master lock number 930 which was a five pin lock that had uh, a removable core but you couldn't actually open it up um, and I suspect there were some spools in there not really very good uh, and then I had a Schlage I think it was an 851226 that was a six pin lock that had serrated key pins um, some serrated drivers and spools and some actually it was serrated spools in there and uh, that lock actually gave me a little bit of trouble, but mostly because of the tension wrench. Once I got the correct tension wrench, I had it open in, I think, around two minutes. But that was actually uh, still a much, much better lock than the master lock. I did a little bit of looking around on YouTube and discovered that Ace actually sells some Ace branded locks that I don't know if they're made by American Lock or if they're just copies but this is an ace lock and this is number 5202825 <clears throat> and this is kind of in the same vein as the other locks it's a hardened steel body this one has six pins it says um, yeah six pins and I believe that I've seen from other people picking these on YouTube that they have serrated pins in them. So we're going to go ahead and, and give this one a try. And uh, unlike the other locks, this one does not have the keys visible. So I wasn't able to try to pick the most difficult bidding. But we'll see what we get. Alright, you can see the bidding on the key there. It's not outrageous, but it's not as simple as it gets either. So, should be a good middle of the road here. Let's chuck this thing up. Hopefully this goes okay, because as I've mentioned in some of those other videos, these serrated pins, I don't get the feedback in this vise that I normally do, so hopefully this goes okay. Okay, I believe this is going to work. This is the same tension wrench I've been using on most of the other locks. It does not feel great in there but we'll we'll try it and this is the same standard hook that I've been using as well definitely feels like serrated pins Tolerances feel pretty decent on this lock so far. Just trying to get a false set. I'm going to switch to a slightly more aggressive hook here. I 
This isn't a terribly restricted keyway. Well, I'm getting nothing here. Let me start over. Give it a rake. I'll start at the back. You may have noticed in some of my other videos, I don't always start at the back like most people generally do. And there's no specific reason. It's just I have found that that works for me. But if I'm starting from the front and I'm not getting anything, then I'll switch to starting from the back. Okay, well, not only did I get a false set, it actually is picked open, but once again, this tension wrench is not great, okay? So, my tension wrench was binding up in there a little bit. But, that is picked open. Let's see what we've got. Okay, we've got a standard Phillips here. So it just so happened that instead of getting a false set, I just happened to get all the pins correct at that point in time. little shield is not wanting to come off here. I'm not sure which side locks in. Well, this is a new one for me. Let's see if I can. I wonder if the key is. Sorry about this guys, I've never seen, what in the world? Okay, that sucker did not want to come out of there. Let's pull the clip off this thing. This looks just like an American core. I don't know if it is just a copy or if it's made by them. Having yet more difficulty with this clip. Alright, finally got that dude off. Let's see if we can get this is again, it's got the cutout on the core. Hopefully I can get this out without all the pins coming out. I 
seem to go okay. All right, let's see what we've got. So for key pins, pin one is standard, pin two, serrated, pin three, serrated, four, serrated, five, serrated, and no pin six. Well, it said on the packaging it was a six pin lock, so I don't know, I don't think I lost one. We'll have to, we'll see how many are in the Bible here. Okay, pin one for driver pins is serrated. Two is a spool, serrated spool. Three is serrated. Four is a serrated spool. Five is serrated. Yeah, and no sixth pin. This is not a six pin lock, it is a five pin lock. You can see, hopefully you can see the pins there. And uh, yeah, that, that lock wasn't too bad. Um, although it certainly, I don't know if I just got one that it only had five pins in it or whether that's the way they come, but you can clearly see it says it's a six pin lock and it only had five in there. So other than that, you know, it uses serrated pins and actually some serrated spools just like the Schlage. Uh, but I would have to say for the money, this was $25. The Schlage at $20 was an actual six pin lock and had serrated um, drivers and key pins as well as some serrated spools. So that's still my best value for maximum security locks. Thanks, thanks for watching.